In life, like sports, the clock is always ticking. In that time, moments that define where we've been and who we are. And now coming into the game, it's an interesting story, ladies and gentlemen. I'm, uh, I'm ready for the challenge. I'll probably have some bad days. On Tuesday, February 16th, one such moment for Nuggets head coach George Carl. I still wake up. Oh, oh shit, I have cancer. You know, I still haven't. You know, I wake up in the mornings and I go, oh my God. I, um, but there's, you know. Sixty miles to the north, another story of basketball and cancer. It started around the end of the track season last year. Uh, I just felt like little bumps and stuff on my neck, and by the summer it got pretty pretty noticeable. One of my football coaches kind of pointed it out, it's like, "What's that bump in your neck?" Garrett Carp is an 18-year-old student at Rocky Mountain High School. This summer, before the start of his senior year. He too came face to face with the disease. He basically told us July th uh, 3rd that it was Hodgkin's lymphoma. I was hoping to be able to play basketball um, near the end of the season because my treatment was going to be done in December. So that would give me time to get my stamina back up and start working back to being normal. And then it started reoccurring in the chest a little. So then immediately I went to aggressive chemo and pretty much wiped out my stamina. And, I wasn't able to play basketball or anything. What the chemo didn't wipe out was Carp's spirit. Once I figured out that I wasn't able to play because of the stamina and all that other things, um, I just started getting into other hobbies and you just gotta find other interests that keep you busy. Carp stayed busy, attended school when possible, and relied on a strong support group to pull him through the treatment. I had no idea that everyone would be, you know, praying and all the support, it's been really good. Which brings us back to Tuesday, February 16th, Carp and his family summoned to his doctor's office for the results of a PET scan, which detects the presence or absence of cancerous cells in the body. We walked in and he's like, um, the PET scan it came out negative, so it's a state of remission. And we we're all just, my mom and me and my dad were sitting there just in disbelief. Like, we haven't heard that word, you know, in forever. And, we we're hoping we would hear it soon, and hearing it was just like, we're remission, you know? It was like, it was surreal. Today they found out it's in remission. Even more unbelievable, Carp suiting up later that night for the first time this season. The crowd was chanting, you know, we want Carp, we want Carp. It started getting my adrenaline rushing and me getting all pumped up. This kid scores a basket, it's going to be like they just won the state tournament. I was ready to go and I took the shirt off and everyone just started cheering and from then on it got very, very emotional. But the clock was ticking. The score is irrelevant right now. Right now we just want to get Garrett Carp with the basket. And time was running out. Here comes Rocky. As soon as I got to the three, I'm just like, oh, I'm going to hit this. They get the ball to, Gar to uh, Garrett. Yeah, so then I shoot it and he comes down. He shoots a three. Oh, as soon as it banked, I thought it was going to air ball it. He banks it in! He went in and then the whole crowd went wild. He banks it in! I started crying and looking at everyone. It was just, oh, it was a good moment. A moment that defined where Garrett Karp has been and who he is. Um, having the remission in the morning and then being able to shoot that shot, it just kind of lifted up all the stress and all the things that's been weighing down on me and just release it all and got to shout and yell and scream and have fun and just felt like a normal kid. 